We're all on a journey through life. We're all moving somewhere and time is taking us there. But where are we going? How does the journey end? What am I looking for in life? With all the different paths to choose, does it matter which one I pick? Is there a right way to live? Those are the most important questions you're ever going to ask. And everybody asks them. They start to arise from our hearts from the time we're little kids. They're burning in all our hearts. People might drown out the fact that they're asking these questions with, with life, with jobs, with getting busy, with getting distracted with a million things. But those questions are always there. Even if people go through bad experiences in life and start to despair, I'll never find the answers to those questions. They're always there. It's almost like we're put on this planet to find the answers. I think maybe that was why Jesus' first interaction with mankind in the Gospel of John was to ask a question. He saw two guys following him, turned around, looked at him and said, what are you looking for? So you, what are you looking for? There's simply no better news in history. Nothing even comes close. But when God revealed himself, he revealed himself to be more than we could have ever hoped for. And yet everything we're made for. He revealed that he is love. God had you in mind before the Big Bang. He had you in mind when he entered space and time to save us. He had you in mind when he hung on the cross. Next to the ocean of God's mercy, your sin, it's a pebble. And when you really think about it, could God be anything less radical, less absurd, <laughs> less beautiful than the love that Christians say he is? You don't have to have it all together to start this journey. You might have a thousand questions about your faith. You might be, feel messed up inside in like a million different ways. It's all good. Just start the journey. The gospel isn't some story from long ago. It isn't some message for the saints of the past. It's for you now. It's about you living the life you were made.